One player shared a factor into Saturday's game plan against Wyoming is junior running back J.J. DeLuigi. He has had big shoes to fill, the shoes of Harvey Unga, and he's had to do it despite being half his size. Or kind of. True Blue's Michael Bodmer shows us how this Catholic kid is leading the way in Provo. For junior tailback J.J. DeLuigi, it's time to shine. As a senior in high school, J.J. DeLuigi was named as a first-team All-State running back by the Los Angeles Times after rushing for 2,159 yards on 266 carries. As you can imagine, he had some great offers from schools along the West Coast, including San Diego State, Washington, and UCLA. But J.J., a devout Catholic, surprised many and opted for BYU. It just felt like the, the right fit for me. Um, I love the players that were here and the morals that they had. and. They were more like myself, um, the coaches, I just felt like I could trust them. Although initially taken back a bit by the differences between Provo and his hometown of Canyon Country, California, he settled in nicely. There's definitely a, a different moral value system here and um, you know the, what the people like to do for fun out here is a lot different than my friends back home and it was a good change to, to you know, just be able to go to the bowling alley or the movies and have fun. DeLuigi's family and friends have been supportive of his decision to be a Cougar, and this year has been a dream come true for JJ. I feel like it was the best, best decision I've ever made. This year, I, I finally get to do what I love. Um, I'm finally getting the opportunity to play and, you know, be one of the guys on the offense, and that's really the, the reason why I came here. That opportunity that JJ mentioned came this offseason following Harvey Unga's departure. Although he's now embraced the opportunity, he was initially surprised. It was definitely a shock. I, I got it on an email from Coach Mendenhall, and then um, Harvey texted me. I was like, you know, it's your time. You're going to be the man. Um, I'm so happy for you, and I, I just wish the best for you. And that's when I knew it was real, was when he actually texted me and then gave me a call the next day. After losing Harvey, running backs coach Lance Reynolds felt comfortable handing the reins to JJ because of his work ethic and skill set. He's worked really hard over the last couple of years to uh, uh, become that guy. JJ is a focused, energetic, you don't have to say giddy up much, he goes hard, he works at it, he I think comes out and uh, leads by example. So far as a BYU Cougar, JJ has a number of special memories, but none compare to last season's Holy War. That was the greatest feeling ever in the Blues, throwback jerseys. Um, I was on the field when Andrew caught the touchdown. Max sets and throws into pressure, complete to George, and it ends on a touchdown! I was the first one there to jump up on him and kind of tackle him in the dog pile, so that was a great experience. Rather than spend too much time dwelling on the past, JJ looks forward and tries to better his team and himself day in and day out. If I can help my team by carrying the ball or receiving the ball, it doesn't matter to me. I just want to help my team and, you know, so far I think I'm doing that. Michael Bodmer is in studio with us. This is a fascinating story. A kid out of California with no ties to BYU, not even religious ties, and he comes to Provo. Absolutely. Like he, he's, he had so many options. You heard me say that he had over 2,000 yards rushing his senior season. Offers from schools like UCLA and Washington. He got a letter from Bronco Mendenhall in the mail. He got curious. He went to the campus in Provo, and he's just, he was amazed. He loved the facilities, loved the coaches, but what really impressed him as well was the level of education. I talked to him in the interview, and he said he feels like he's getting an education here that he couldn't get anywhere else. So. Well, what this screams to other, other kids around the country is uh, you can come to BYU. You don't necessarily have to be Mormon. Uh, you got to live the standards of the school, but you can have a, a pretty good time. Yeah, JJ loves it here. I actually had the opportunity to go to his birthday party last week. And he was, he just loves it. He has so many friends. He, uh, he said he has the same morals and values as all the LDS kids out here. And he, like you heard him say, he likes going to the bowling alley. He likes going to movies. He just loves the lifestyle here. What'd you get him for a present? Uh, I forgot. I forgot to get him a yeah. present. Yeah, I don't think he'll be invited next year. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Good story, Michael. Thank you.